another record shattering weekend here, breaking more <laughs> records than it's done since the 90s. Just it seems like every time we're talking to you, you're talking about a new record that's been broken. Yeah, I mean, Jamal is one of those guys that's a little bit inconsistent, but you know, he has the talent to run uh, really fast. And obviously, he showed that yesterday, and hopefully, that gives him some confidence going to the national meet. But, you know, Jamal's run 13 7. He's trains with Tyron Lewis, one of our other great hurdlers. So, um, great training partners. And, you see it in practice every day. I think he just finally put it all together and executed it. Um, hopefully, like I said, that gives him some confidence because he didn't run very as well as he wanted to at the conference final. He got third there. Um, just got a little off center on his hurdling and just a little uh, got a little banged up in there with some other guys. So hopefully, you know, this makes him run really well at Grand Valley next week and we can uh, compete for a national championship. And I think that. Uh, first step we can make in the final, but uh, he's more than capable of doing all that. Well, Coach, I mean, you, you mentioned in that national meet coming up and it, all the success that you've had, I mean, especially with, with a guy like Ben, it, I think we were talking about it here just a second ago. I think he owns like the top six records for the 100 in Division Two. Does he feel like personally that he still has a lot to prove going into that meet? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think he has a lot to prove and I think he wants to uh, hopefully get some win legal times under 2-0. I mean, he's always worried about that because he wants to make sure those times are going to count towards his records and you know, what he's trying to accomplish and moving into the summer and continuing to run well, continuing to prepare for the world championships. Uh, but this will be the last meet he'll have for us. He'll be moving on after this. So you know, we'll enjoy uh, having him for one more ride. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to enjoy it myself and just enjoy being around him. And I think that uh, he's making the right decision to move forward and uh, you know, do what he can professionally and uh, what he needs to do there. Uh, so you'll see him running a lot this summer. He'll have some meets in June as well. And then he'll uh, represent Ghana at the World Championships in Oregon in July. So still train here with us, still be here with us. Uh, we'll just be a professional route there after uh, the National Championship next week. You talk about last ride. I mean, another one on their last ride is obviously Zeta Swoops going in this national meet. What has she meant to this program with her time here? Well, Zeta's just, you know, very uncommon thrower because she can do all three. Usually you have someone that can just throw shot or disc. She's taught herself how to throw hammer. She scored last year in the hammer sixth place. So she's won multiple national championships in the shot and disc. So, I mean, she's going to be a huge, just one of those people you don't really replace and just one of those people that's once in a lifetime, I think, for us just to have someone, like I said, that can do all three and do all three at a high level. Numerous conference championships helped us win numerous team titles, helped us win numerous trophies on the side so I think that uh, just having her competitiveness her leadership one more time I'll enjoy her seeing her and hope we get to watch her every time I'm gonna make sure I go over there and watch her throw all weekend next weekend and just enjoy it and I know coach Denham you know, Denham and her have a special relationship so um, it's gonna be tough on him to watch her throw for the last time but uh, we can't wait um, just a blessing to be able to watch her compete and be on our team you guys have a great chance to go up and sweep with both men and women's side. I mean, a great opportunity there. Just kind of what's the focus this week? As you guys well, the focus this week is to get a lot of rest. And, you know, we still got a couple guys that aren't healthy. Desmond and Jalen, we need to get them healthy. Odell. So on men's side, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, but I think we got to get a couple guys healthy there. Uh, Quentin Sansing ran 46-6 yesterday. He looks really good. Madison ran 49-6 in the four hurdles. So we got some guys trending in the right direction. So I'm excited about our guys' side. We got a lot of bullets there. Women, I mean, Azusa's really good. Grand Valley's really good. Uh, we're, we don't have quite the bullets they do. We're going to have to really perform, fill some lanes in, and sprints. Our sprinters are going to have to perform very well, and our jumpers are pretty heavy on those. And then obviously we have Zeta, and then Eleanor, and Tommy, and the steeple. So we still don't know if we're going to have who's going to be in the meet. We'll know tomorrow 100%. Hopefully we have the entries. We see those entries, then we'll have a better uh, idea of where we fit team-wise. You, you mentioned the women there, obviously, Belfield uh, in that battle. Is there anything that she's wanting to do at that national meet record-wise? I think she's wanting to, you know, defend her championship from indoor in the 200. And then obviously our relays, top three in the country. And then she's top three in the 100, too. So she's a big performer for us. And DeAndre Green ran really well yesterday. So D's running really well, Alana's running well. So our sprinters look really good, but I think, um, you know, just getting in those finals, the prelims is the most stressful for me. So like, we just got to get to Saturday and fill some lanes up and see what happens from there. And obviously, you still have to wait to see, but do you feel like everyone that participated in the last chance meet did what they needed to do to get to the national meet? Yeah, I think it worked out very well for us. We probably got three or four people that weren't in. And so, I mean, that's why you have to meet. 
we help some other teams as well. So it's always a weird atmosphere because there's not a whole lot of people. There may be four people in the heat. There may be eight. There may be six people triple jumping. There may be two. But you're getting opportunities for people to go last chance. Uh, with that last chance meet to go to nationals, so there's so many now last chance meets all over the country. You almost have to do one or you're going to be left out. Coach, I mean, I know that you guys have had plenty of success these last few years. This year's, does it feel special? I mean, 21 all-conference athletes here. Have you taken time to kind of reflect? I know it's not over yet, but yeah. wow. Not yet, but I think um, I think this is one. Of, I think this is our best men's team we put together. Just a lot of talent, women's team, and we've had some good ones. So I think this one stacks up with those. But I think we'll find out next week how good we are on both sides, and I think that we can do something special if we just get there as healthy as possible and execute. That's our ability. I know you really don't care about personal accolades, but you sweep both coach awards there for the conference. Is it nice to get that recognition from the conference? Yeah, definitely, because it comes from the other coaches, so that's always nice. But, you know, I think what we need to do is a staff award. I think most conferences do that because I don't only coach. You know, obviously I'm the director of the program, but I coach the sprinters, hurdlers, relays, and I've got guys that work their tail off. And coach gives them the jumps and Zach the throws. And, um, coach Denham, or coach Denham the throws, Zach the distance runners. And, GAs and there's a lot of people that make it happen. So, you know, I think that we'll move towards that in the future of staff of the year award. And I think our staff's done a great job with these athletes.